my name is Claire Walters. I'm from Manlius, New York, and I'm an incoming freshman at Etsy State. I chose it because of the team atmosphere and I just felt really at home here. Hi, um, I'm Alyssa Hendricks. I'm a freshman here at NC State University and I'm from Tampa, Florida. Hi, I'm Shannon Sefton. I'm a sophomore. Um, I'm from Cary, North Carolina and I picked NC State because I love the girls when I visit. I'm Sam Bush. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm a sophomore and I picked NC State just because the team and the coach and stuff. They're amazing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lulu Black. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I chose NC State because of the team culture. Hi, I'm Taylor Cozy. Um, I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, and um, I chose NC State because out of all my visits, it was just a place I thought I'd be the happiest, and um, it's just a good fit, school and everything. Hi, I'm Marissa Bishop. I'm going to be a junior next year. I'm from Cary, North Carolina. Hi, I'm Mariah Howlett. Um, I'm also going to be a junior. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I chose NC State because of the team culture. My name's Sophia Rigg. Um, I'm going to be a junior. I'm from Indiana, and I chose NC State because of the coaches. Hi, I'm Sarah Latour. I'm going to be a junior uh, this upcoming fall. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, but I was originally born in Kazakhstan. Hi, I'm Rafaela. I'm going to be a junior and I'm from Orlando, Florida. I chose NC State because I knew this program would help me become the best runner. I Hi, my name is Julia Zacco. I'm from upstate New York and I'm a senior. Uh, my name is Ellie Hennis. I'm a fifth year senior. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. I chose NC State because my mom told me to. Hi, I'm Nevada Marino. I'm a senior. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, I'm Hannah Steelman. I'm from Aiken, South Carolina. I recently transferred to NC State and I'm going to be a senior. And I chose NC State because of the team culture and awesome coaches. Um, I went seven miles. It was a pretty good run. I'm getting, I, this is my fifth time running here and first couple times is rough. <laughs> but I've definitely gotten used to it. Uh, it went pretty good. This is my first run here. And I'm from Florida so there's no altitude. But, so it's like 9,000 so that was a lot. But I felt, I mean I did, worked through it with the girls which is nice. That was exactly why I chose NC State was because I can run with girls and they could push me. So it was, it was a good run overall, yeah. Um, my run was pretty good. We're at Rollinsville, so the way out was heinous. But um, <laughs> after turn around, it's like all downhill, so it was really fun. I had to go back on my own because I'm still coming back from a little injury. But uh, I did seven miles, and I got to like cruise a little bit on the way back, and then I had some strides. Um, after our runs, we do yeah. cool down drills, <laughs> like so. <laughs> <laughs> And then we do stretching, stretching uh, um, rope, rope stretching with this hand be rope right here. Goes in the, you know, <laughs> yeah, and then you, but you're on, you're on the ground when you do it. <laughs> core, um, yeah, core, core, have, like, and then core sequences called wolf and pack. So there's like 10 to 15 exercises in each of those that we'll all do together on like, what is it, like Mondays and Wednesdays? Yeah, yeah. yeah just like twice a week. And then just recovery stuff, like whatever people need. But that's typical, like summer, summer after run training. The creek is so cold that your feet will fall off. But these <laughs> crazy ladies don't care. Kelly, let's get in. Meanwhile, me and 
Chan Chan. Yeah, we couldn't do it last yeah, time. Sarah Stick our toes in and we have to get back out because it's too cold. <laughs> Fun fact, Sarah the other day accidentally slipped and started going down the street. So. <laughs> she was floating down, we did save her. <laughs> so that's why we don't get it. <laughs> okay, we are at a coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls gathering here to get our uh, coffee and breakfast brunch post moderate long run. Um, I got a vanilla cappuccino because I like to take three sips of my coffee, get super caffeinated, and then crash. Oat milk latte every time if they have oat milk. Um, I did vanilla. Usually I do hazelnut, but I, was, I don't know. Oh, like switching it up. And then egg and cheese, everything bagel. I got the um, quiche, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I got a breakfast burrito and donuts as well. Yeah. I got a pumpkin spice latte and a chorizo breakfast burrito. It's pretty good. Got some eggs, potato, chorizo. Yeah. Perfect after a run. You want to see my burrito? <laughs> It's Amy's glue. <laughs> She's a glue tart. <laughs> Can't have glue. Um, Top life. This is our Airbnb. It's there's five of us: Annie, Sam, Claire, Kelsey, and I. This is my room with Annie. This fan has saved our life. Our first couple nights here, we woke up like every hour because it was so hot. And then our hero Julia Zacco brought us this from Boulder. Yeah, I went plenty. This is the bed. Honestly, this is pretty clean for it, so I'm glad. Like you know, could be worse. This is Sam and Kelsey's room. Um, close quarters in there. They've been <laughs> snuggling. All their stuffs in here. That's Claire's bed. The freshman gets the weird bed in the middle of the living room. This is Kelsey and Sam, the two who are snuggling. Um, yeah, just bed room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a BLT. <laughs> Uh, I'm using up all of Claire, our freshman's bread, because she brought two loaves of bread and two things of bagels, and she's only staying for two weeks, so. Okay, we are in Ireland right now, but we have around two dozen <laughs> wolf pack <laughs> um, girls out here. Um, we have about three houses in Boulder area, and then we have two houses up here. And yeah, so we're at Annie's house right now. And yeah, just eating some breakfast after a long, or not long run, moderate long run. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think we all decided to come out here to obviously get in some good training and also be able to spend time together. Um, and the COVID thing has made it kind of tricky and like with our runs and stuff, we've started in smaller groups, especially when we're at more busy trails and we've had to split up into smaller houses as well. And a lot of us who are coming from different places got COVID tests before we came in to make sure our team was being safe and stuff. Um, but ultimately, the goal was to come out here and have a great time together and we're still able to do that. So I think we're extremely grateful just to be able to be out here with all that's going on in the world and do it safely. Piggybacking off what she <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad we chose Colorado. Um, even with the whole COVID thing, we're just being really smart, starting off with uh, runs in like smaller groups and everything. But like we're all able, even like right now, just to all hang out. Um, enjoy each other's company and like just really bond and um, we have some freshmen out here too and just getting to know them before uh, season starts and everything so yeah we're just having a lot of fun out here. Alright so I think the team culture at NC State is a lot different from any other team I visit or any other team I've come into contact with. I think Sam and I were just talking this morning on the run how I feel like our team does a really good job encouraging each other throughout the runs. We don't necessarily focus on wanting to drop each other or like get super competitive obviously we have our competitive moments but we focus more on building each other up and pulling each other through every run instead of dropping each other <laughs> um yeah so just like coming in as a freshman i guess um i knew all the girls like above me sort of and so just getting to bond with them and run with them we all have like similar goals and stuff so just being able to run with them and have fun with them we all want to have a good time, but still train hard. So I think just having like the same goals in mind and um, doing it like in a fun way is <laughs> what I enjoyed most. So. I NC State special to me because you know coming here, not literally not knowing anyone, just from Ohio. I was like, these girls have some good vibes, <laughs> and they do. <laughs> Every run is fun. Running is fun now. <laughs> Um, the reason I chose to go to NC State was because I got there and immediately felt at home. Like it was just such a big family. 
Um, all the coaches were super welcoming and it just felt like the right place for me and being out here with everybody has just been like the best week and a half of my life so far so I'm really excited. Um, my name is Marley Starlper. I am 18 years old and I'm a freshman and I'm from Pennsylvania and I chose NC State. Um, I mean Claire she did say it best with like like everybody from like the team to the coaches like it just felt like one big family and just like going around campus like um, it was just so welcoming and like I don't know I guess it was the southern charm it's real <laughs> but um, that and just then going from like they were NC State was my very first visit and like going from there like I just felt like I'd miss the team like if I were to go somewhere else so all right um so I haven't gotten to do like an outdoor season yet um, and I'm about to be a junior and so with this whole like corona thing it's kind of like <laughs> thrown everything off but you know I'm just kind of focusing on what I can control because all you can really do is like I don't know do what you can and so I'm just enjoying spending time with my teammates who are also my best friends and we're out here in Colorado running having a great time and we're gonna be ready when the time comes uh, I'm Kelsey Camille I'm a sophomore and I'm from upstate New York and something a lot of people don't know about NC State is that they have a really good animal science program in vet school. So that's kind of why I started looking here. And then the team, I just really felt like I liked a lot. So I got really fortunate because I probably would not have looked here for, if not for that program. So the plan, you know, finish um, altitude camp here and then right away is just go back to Florida and start packing and then get ready to move to Raleigh. and. You know, it's really hard because you don't know what's going to happen with the season for cross. Um, and cross is my favorite season. So I am the only fifth year on this trip. Um, and I guess something that I've noticed since being a freshman and coming all the way till now is the first altitude training trip I had when I was a freshman, there were five girls. We had one car. We were out in Flagstaff. And um, <laughs> we didn't really get to go many places. We ran from the house every day. Um, there was there was some bonding, but mainly it was my class of girls that kind of got together and we said we want to win a national title someday. Um, obviously that didn't happen for my cross experience, but it was something that we kind of embodied in and we're just very intentional about everything that we did. Even from when we were freshmen up until now being a fifth year, we kind of Im wanted to implement the idea of we want to have fun, we want to be intentional about being a family, but we also want to make sure that we're focused on um, our goals and just creating something and accomplishing something as a team. Just being able to have our whole group out here really focused on like bonding with each other and getting the right training in that we need, like it's just so amazing to see and we talk about it all the time on the team, like the coaches do, the girls do. Uh, the reason people choose NC State is because this is a family. <laughs> so you've seen our run. You've seen our recovery. You've seen our house. You've heard our stories. But you've called it a shack one too many <laughs> times, so get out of here. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> no!